Section 3.2, two things we're going to be doing today in this video. We're going to be proving theorems about parallel lines. We're going to talk about those. And then we're going to use those properties of parallel lines to find different angle measures. Okay, now the difference in this section and compared to last section in 3.1, in 3.1 lines weren't parallel. Okay, so we talked about all these different angle pairs, alternate interior, alternate exterior, um, corresponding, and same side interior. We talked about all those. If the lines are parallel, okay, so that's the whole key right here. It says here, if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, that's a major important part right there. Those lines have to be parallel. Okay, so if that happens, if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then these four things are true. Number one, first and foremost, is that corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, corresponding angles are congruent. So in this case, as you see here, as you see here in this picture, it says postulate 3-1, corresponding angles postulate, says that corresponding angles are congruent if the two lines are parallel. So angle 3 and angle 1 would be exactly the same degrees. So in other words, I've written over here on the side, and you'll want to write these down. So you may have to pause this video um, to get all these written down. Angles that are in the same position on different lines are congruent to each other. Angle 1 in this case is congruent to angle 3. But the biggest key is if the, the lines have to be parallel. If the lines are not parallel, these things are not true. Okay? So, alternate interior angles. Let's talk about those. Alternate interior angles. If the two lines, or if the transversal intersects two parallel lines, then alternate interior angles are also congruent. So in this picture, angle 3 and angle 7 would be exactly the same measure. Okay, so in other words, alternate interior angles are congruent. Angle 3 and angle 7 are congruent to each other, but the lines must be parallel to each other. They have to be parallel, otherwise this would not be true. Again, if transversal intersects two parallel lines, same side interior angles are supplementary. This is the one and only different one. Okay, so... In other words, same side interior angles are going to add up to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so in this case, angles 2 and angles 3, if I add them together, they're going to equal 180. So same side interior angles are supplementary. So angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180 degrees. And again, it's only true if the lines are parallel. All right, last one is the alternate exterior angles theorem. Alternate exterior, exterior angles theorem says, again, if the transversal intersects two parallel lines, alternate exterior angles are congruent to each other. So angle 4 and angle 8 are congruent to each other. They'll be the same measure. So alternate exterior angles are congruent. Angle 4 is congruent to angle 8. Again, it's only possible if the lines are parallel. Okay, with that being said, let's take a look at some of these examples. Now, you see some different examples here. Okay, it says, in the figure, what are the values of X and Y? And you'll see, one of the things, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but in lines that are parallel, you see these angle markings, these little red triangles. If I see two lines with little triangles on them, or little angle markings like this, and they fill them in, that means that those, if they have the same number of, triangles on them that means that those lines are parallel to each other so in this case the top line and the bottom line of this shape are parallel and these outside lines are our transversals okay so if i were to extend this line like so and that line like so and like so and like so, you might see this a little easier as opposed to a shape. Now, the question is, what kind of angles are these two? Well, these guys are same side interiors. Now, because we know the lines are parallel, I can say that the same side interior angles, in this case, I can use the same side interior angles theorem, which says that same side interior angles will add up to be 
180 degrees. So I can say that 2x plus x minus 12 is equal to 180. And now I can solve for x. Combine my like terms, 3x minus 12 equals 180, okay? If I were to take and add 12, 3x is going to equal 192, okay? And then if I divide that by 3, x is going to equal 64, okay? x is going to equal 64. Now, same thing on the other side. You notice, again, if I extend these lines, again, sometimes it's easier to see if you extend them like this because you see the different ways, different types of angles better a little bit this way as opposed to just maybe seeing just the shape. But these two as well are also same side interior angles. So I could say in this case that 3y plus y plus 20 equals 180 degrees. Again, combine like terms. So 4y plus 20 equals 180. And then if I subtract 20, 4y is going to equal 160. And then if I divide it by 4, y is going to be equal to 40. So I got 40 for y, 64 for x. Those are examples of using the same side interior angles. Okay. And then, and then adding up to be 180 degrees. Now, what I want you to do is you're going to have to draw this example down here. On uh, Draw this example down on your note. Find an open spot here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a picture that looks like this. And I know that these guys are parallel they got the little angle markings on them and then I'm going to draw me a transversal like so and I'm going to say that this angle is 4x plus 6 and this angle here is 2x and uh, let's see here. Let's make that one uh, 2x plus 20. Okay. Now, I want to know what is the value of x. Okay. What's the value of x to make this? And, and then I want you to find the measure of each angle. Well, first thing you got to do is figure out what kind of angles are these. You know you have two parallel lines. So in this case... These two lines are parallel. These are alternate exterior angles. So you're going to use the alternate exterior angles theorem and say that 4x plus 6 equals 2x plus 20. They're equal, they're equal to each other. You're going to subtract 2x. So now 2x plus 6 equals 20. Then I'm going to subtract 6 and 2x equals 14. And then I'm going to divide by 2 and x is going to be 7. Now, if x is 7... I'm going to plug these guys back in, okay? I'm going to plug these guys back in, and when I plug them back in, I get that 4 times 7 plus 6, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 6 is 34, so that angle is 34 degrees, and then when I plug them back in here, 2 times 7 and then plus 20, 2 times 7 is 14, plus 20 is 34. They should match up to be the same, okay? All right, so that's kind of an example of what you might also see in your homework problems. All right, now you should be able to complete class kick examples.